of the prophecy says now you he say now you are going to be seated at the wedding feast of the lamb now he's speaking about the rapture when he's speaking about if now he's speaking about the new jerusalem because even in verse 7 and not verse 7 but day 7 he's speaking about the rest of god hebrews chapter 3 and 4 talks about he says there is a rest that remains for god's people Amen. Now you see, he's talking about the process of transformation in the life of a Christian when he becomes saved. And then he says, and when that happens, he says, now you are truly the bride of Christ, when the Holy Spirit has done this in you. And you await the day when you are going to be united with your Lord and Master. The day when you are going to rest. He says, he says, in the book of Revelation, he says, Behold, I am making all things new. Yeah? Revelation 16, somewhere there, it says, In that land, in that place, there will be no more sorrow. There will be no more pain. There will be no more crying. For the former things have passed away. And he's making everything new. He says, He will wipe away all tears from their eyes. This is a state of great rest from their huge, the, the, the tremendous amount of work they had to do on the earth. That? You see that? I try to unearth the transformative work of Christ in our lives. Amen? I may not have taken, I may not have unearthed everything, but uh, it's so powerful to see what the Lord has revealed. Now, now, this is now the living church. Amen. So now we'll talk about, now, after the Holy Spirit has done such a marvelous work in the church of Sardis. Mm -hmm. Now, why did he leave? Yeah? You see such tremendous work. He gave them power. He gave them his light. Yeah? He gave them his Holy Spirit. And he filled them with so much good things. He even made them the true image bearers of Christ. Then he even made them the bride of Christ. He says, for you have redeemed men from, the, from all tribes and tongues and nations and whatever. He says, and you have made them a kingdom of priests. Now after they have been made a kingdom of priests, why would the Holy Spirit... Now, he says, you don't have him. Why? They have been elevated to such a high place of power and blessing. Now he's saying, they fell, they didn't even know. This must have been a gradual decline. Kidogo, kidogo, just slowly, slowly. <laughs> kidogo, kidogo, just slowly declining, yeah? Walking away from Christ one step at a time. But you see, the time when one day they woke up and the Holy Spirit was not there. Mm -hmm. They didn't realize it. They thought they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And then, breaking news. You don't have the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit has left a lot of churches in our generation today. So we'll investigate that next time. What are the things that make the Holy Spirit to leave? Should I, should I just, you know, should I, should I, should, should, should I not, what, should I, uh, uh, should I just be satisfied? Enough that I'm born again. I don't have to be careful how I live, what I say, how I, is that how we're supposed to live? No, sir. No. The, what leads us to a place where the Holy Spirit is no longer there and He's commanding us to repent, to get back to that place. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I hope uh, the Lord has spoken to you and me. Mm -hmm. I've received much. Mm -hmm. I bless the Lord for this wonderful, wonderful teaching He's giving us. Amen. Amen. Uh, the Holy Spirit has done so much in our lives. It's even a warning because He has elevated us so high. Amen. Indeed, He has humbled us. When he, when, we, when he humbles us, then he, he really brings us into His glory. Amen? He really elevated us into the heavenly places. Seated in heavenly places. And we cannot afford to lose that place. Because someone else will take your place. Satan has no more chance to return to heaven. That's why he's working very, very hard to make sure that people don't enter heaven. And then he will laugh on that day. 
and he will rejoice and he said, yes, at least I'm not going alone. God forbid that we are going to be his companions. Amen. 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 That we will continue in this righteous way and enjoy the blessing of the Lord and evangelize Jesus and preach holiness and righteousness and rebuke the sins of the world with the words we speak and the life that we live that there may be no double standard in our lives. Father, we thank you, we bless you, we give you glory and honor. We thank you for this powerful work, Holy Spirit, that you've done in our lives. Keep us safe in your hands. Keep us from sin. Keep us from, disobe from disobedience and from turning back to the vomit and from going back into the mud and wallowing in the mud like a pig that has been washed and going back into the mud. Father, keep us holy, to present us holy on that glorious day when you come back to take your church. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen.